Good evening, wonderful family. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In case you are new here, you're welcome. Please subscribe to make yourself a full member of the family. So in today's video, I'll be talking about four ways, okay? You can use your thoughts to achieve favor, attraction, open doors, okay? And to attract unimaginable uh, money, yes. So the first one is by doing your thought bath, okay, which is a very common one, okay? Yes, yeah, so many people have asked me so many questions, please, which is the best way to do your thought bath? I am here to answer the question and equally, you know, teach us other ways you can use your thoughts, do your thoughts cleansing and how you can use your thoughts to attract favor. Doing your thoughts cleansing is a very simple one, but very, very effective. Some will tell me that they've done so many, uh, they've done their salt bath, salt cleansing, nothing is happening. And when I ask them, how do you do your salt bath? You start hearing stories. Eh, I'll just sit and bath. You know, you have to pray. Yes, you have to pray. Okay, you have to pray on it. That charges with your intentions. Tell God what you're using it for. You don't just use it to bath. Okay, some people may use it to bath without praying and they will still, it will still work for them. But everybody is not the same. Okay, when you have a lot of negativities in your life, negative energies in your life, okay, it will take time for you to be cleansed from it. So that is why you need to, you know, be patient when you're doing your salt cleansing. It's not something you do for a day or two, you get tired. No. Okay? When you mean to do a salt bath, at least you should give yourself at least 21 days. Yes. Before that 21 days, no matter how negative now the negative energies are you must see changes in your life by the grace of god okay so when you do it in the morning okay just after taking your baths even if it's a cup add a little salt to it pray if you agree say you can read some psalms into it like psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd i shall not want and truly every member of my family of my channel will never want okay you can read some 23 into it, you can read some 35, you can read some 109 into it, okay, and charge it, okay? Then you use that, even if it's a cup of salt, a cup of salt, or can use it from your hair to your toe. Tell God to bless you, to remove any form of negativity in your life, any form of negative energies that is distracting you, that is covering your, you know, your glory and all that. Just pour it from your face to your toes. And you watch how things to start moving well for you okay it's a very tested and trusted one yes i do it my i do my sword part almost every day because i do a lot of uh, spiritual work so it's a way of cleansing myself this is why you could do it some people do it only in the morning i do my twice a day morning and night with all that soap i used to back myself up okay so when you tell people to do a lot of uh, do spiritual work they get tired but the enemy that is fighting you, they don't get tired. These people that come in the night to bury something in front of your compound. Do you think it's easy for them? But you that will just say, put salt in your water and bath, it will be a problem to you. It's not easy to fight this devil we are talking about. So. Okay? You can see how tired I am looking. I, I did a lot of work today, being Sunday. So it's, it's not just a... Uh, but, uh, battling the enemy is not a, a child's play. Okay, so whenever I tell you, please do this, do that, please do it, it's for your own good. Okay, yes, that is the perfect way to do your cleansing, your salt cleansing. You can still put it, some people ask me, can I use soap when I'm doing my salt cleansing? Yes, where I said yes is, some of you will tell me they don't have their personal bathroom, they can't carry two buckets of water, they can't carry two cups and all that. Okay, what matters is your intentions, pray on it and use your normal soap to bath god will still answer you okay yes another way to use your thoughts to attract favor money unimaginable favor and all that is by putting it in your cream yes in your cream the cream you rub just a pinch of it bless it charge it with your intention that anybody that sees you must favor you anybody that sees you must like you that god should remove those is covering you that those masks of hatred on your body that God should remove it from you okay that is two then every morning you rub your cream and go your way the first day you use this cream believe you me 
people that don't that don't that sees you and without talking to you want to associate with you it's a tested and trusted one you know you know people will just see you and hate you for no reason they will start liking you there are many you there are many people like that people will just see you for no reason and hate you but after doing this thing they will start liking you okay and that way you can use your sword to achieve maximum result is by putting a pinch in your shoes yes as you're going out you pray that your leg will only take you to where favor will locate you where good things will favor where good things will locate you not where bad things will locate you we have cases of people they say they wait till they get to the bus god told them to come down from that bus and enter another bus and when that when they obey that voice you hear that there was a robbery attack in that boy they were supposed to join or there was an accident and all that but god saved you because of that pinch of salt okay because you pray that your legs should only take you to where favor will locate you you will not you will not know sorrow okay so you pray and charge yourself charge the salt before you put it on your shoes just a pinch okay yes the last way you, there are many ways but i just want this video to be short you can use your salt to attract unimaginable favor, attract attract good things to your life, attract money. Okay, is by sprinkling it around your environment, around your house, your shop, your office, okay, your room, your kitchen. Okay, just drop pinches of salt everywhere, every corners of your house. Believe you me, you will not know anything negativity in your life. If you're the type that is always having issues in your family, quarrels, fights, and all that, that salt is going to absorb those negative energies because it's accumulated negative energies that bring quarrels to the family, that bring hatred between uh, two uh, partners. Okay? Yes. But when you have those salt around you and sweep, just change it every two weeks, you sweep it out and, you know, replace it with good ones. You will see yourself loving yourself more than the way you used to. You see good things will start coming into your home. If you're the type that find it difficult to feed three times a day, you see money will start flowing from nowhere. People that are supposed to favor you will start favoring you. If you're due for promotion, you see it's coming to, uh, to your way. Okay? There is a testimony somebody called me to share with me. He was due for promotion for over three years. Okay? He was supposed to be converted or conversion. For over three years, they converted the people that he started work with. When he told me, I told him, do you have the required certificate for the conversion? He said yes, he got it for a very long time, but it was three years ago that they converted those people. Okay, that's uh, nobody, he doesn't know anybody to you know, push the thing up. I said, you only know God. And anybody that knows God, we don't, we don't know we don't have anything shame. As long as you know God, God is the superior. That human being that is supposed to push you, God is going to touch somebody. So I gave him some prayers. I did some works for him. I gave, I gave him some of my brother to use. After like three, well, let me say three weeks or three a month or, or thereabouts, he called me that they have a new director in their office, that the man happens to be from his place. He told When he greeted him, he told him who he is. He told him, so he not gave him his number, that he should feel free to call him. That shot will be the one giving him information of what is happening in the office. So after the whole thing, the man picked him as his PA. That was even the conversion. They're not even talking about conversion now. That he's talking about another level of his life. So this is how God can do things for you. Okay, so that promotion and conversion is not even what we're talking about. That one is even small to what he's getting now. So there's nothing God cannot do. Okay, that is the power of salt baths. Okay, I told him to start salt bath. Then I he bought my favor soap and other things. I prayed for him, and he's happy now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whenever I tell you to do anything, don't get tired of doing it. It may take time. Some puzzle will manifest immediately. Some puzzle may take months, and when it takes start taking like a month, they will get tired of using those things or start get tired of doing their salt bath. Why don't you have patience? Okay, the devil that is fighting you, they can take ten years to make sure that they deal with you. But you that is blessing yourself, you just do it for a week, you get tired. Okay? Please, let's learn to be patient when you're doing your spiritual assignment. Let's learn to do our sword baths as a regular routine. Okay? You can be doing it every day of your life. It doesn't have expiring date. It doesn't have any uh, side effects. Okay? You can do it all the days of your life. It only opens doors for you. Okay? 
thank you for watching the video i think i'll be ending the video here don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed like my videos share my videos click on the notification bell select all so that you'll be the first to be notified each time i upload new videos on youtube thank you once again for watching have a good night rest bye bye